Hey everyone, today on DARPEN we talk about a spike in COVID-19 cases for BC with health officials urging people to do their part to flatten the curve. U.S. President Donald Trump urges Iran not to execute champion wrestler via a tweet. And Canucks have a shot at Game 7 Friday night after they thump the Golden Knights Thursday night. U.S. President Donald Trump has called on Iran to overturn the death sentence of Naveed Afkari, a 27-year-old champion wrestler who was handed two death sentences over the murder of a security guard during protests in Shiraz two years ago. In a tweet, President Trump said, To the leaders of Iran, I would greatly appreciate if you would spare this young man's life and not execute him. Concerns remain that Afkari's confession was obtained while he was tortured. According to human rights activists, his brothers Vahid and Habib were sentenced to 54 and 27 years in prison in the same case. Citing a Fox News report, Mr. Trump said the wrestler's sole act was an anti-government demonstration on the streets. A number of international wrestling figures and activists have also called for the brothers' release and a petition calling for Afkari's life to be spared has been signed more than 10,000 times. Health officials are warning the public to exercise caution as COVID-19 cases continue to trend upwards in BC, suggesting that there will be explosive growth, especially as we head into the long weekend. On Thursday, there were 89 new cases of COVID-19, as well as one additional death, bringing the province's total number of COVID-19 cases to 6,041. In a press conference Thursday, Dr. Bonnie Henry said the BC can still do its part to lessen the number of COVID-19 cases currently being seen, but people need to follow public health protocols. We are at that limit. We are at that precipice, if you will, where we need to take the actions to ensure that we can move forward into the fall and keep our curve low. Dr. Henry emphasized that in terms of personal interactions, you have to make sacrifices at the moment and keep interactions low. In the world of sports, a game that was a must-win for the Canucks to continue in the playoffs or their season would have come to an end. And the Canucks did just that when they beat the Golden Knights 4 nothing in Game 6 on Thursday night to force yet another must-win in an increasingly stunning second round of the 2020 Stanley Cup playoffs. The Canucks have an opportunity to advance to conference semifinals for the first time since 2011. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe.